So this video is just gonna be a really quick tip video for those of you that are interested in using Claude 3. Now I did a whole breakdown video about Claude 3 and it is amazing. I find myself using it more than I use ChatGPT these days. And if you've watched that video, there's quite a few things that I think it does a lot better than ChatGPT. But there's even another benefit and that's that you can optimize your prompts with Claude. Claude will actually tell you how to write better prompts for whatever it is you're trying to accomplish. Now, I've gotta give full credit to Moritz Krim here. Definitely follow him over on X if you're not already. He's someone that shares a lot of great content around AI over on X. But I came across this post from him, Anthropic Claude has a really neat tool on their website. It's a prompt optimizer and can turn a simple prompt into an advanced prompt template. I've tested it and it works incredibly well. He then goes on to explain the steps here, and I will link up to the original post in the description of this video so you can check it out, but I'm gonna walk through it and test it for myself. Now, at the moment, the way that was described on Moritz's post here is to do it through this Google Collab. And I know Google Collabs can be intimidating when you first come across them, but if you just walk through each step one at a time, it's actually really easy. And I imagine somebody's gonna build an app around this pretty soon. If I had to guess, if you're watching this within two to four weeks of this video coming out, somebody's probably already built an app, so you don't have to use this Google Collab step. But before we do anything with Google Collab, we do need an Anthropic API key. So in order to do that, we're gonna go to console.anthropic.com slash login, and we'll go ahead and log in using our normal Claude login. If you've never used Claude before, then you're just gonna create an account instead of log in. But go ahead and plug in the information that it's requesting here and create an account. And it even gives you $5 in free credits when you first sign up. So I'm gonna go ahead and claim my credits. And now I can work with the API for free for a little bit, at least until I spend my $5. Now, similar to the OpenAI Playground where you can sort of test the various GPT models here, Anthropic has its own that it calls the Workbench. If you click into the Workbench, you can test the various models here as well. But for this specific example that we're testing here, I need to get an API key. So I'll go ahead and click on get API key. I will create a key. I'll name it test key. I'm gonna delete this key when I'm done anyway. So let's go ahead and create the key, copy the key that it gives us. And then I'm gonna jump back over here to our Google Collab. And then in this second box here where it says Anthropic API key, I'm gonna go ahead and paste it in between the quotation marks here. And then one at a time, I'm gonna go through and hit each of these play buttons. So I'm gonna start with the very top play button right here. Click play, click run anyway. That took about 10 seconds. I'm gonna go down to this next play button. Now that I've got my API key in here, this should work. So let's go ahead and press play on this one. This one worked immediately here. We're gonna move down to the meta prompt text. We'll go ahead and run that one real quick. And then we'll scroll down. And then the fourth black box here this is where we're going to write the prompt that we want it to optimize for us. For my task, I'm gonna tell it to give me 10 ideas for YouTube videos related to AI that will likely be popular. I'll go ahead and press the play to run this step here. And then I'm just gonna press play next to all of the rest of the steps. So here's the next step. Here's the next step, just one at a time, gonna press play on all of them. Some of them are gonna be almost instant. Some of them are gonna take a few more seconds. Play on this one, play on this one, play on this one. And it, here is the prompt that it generated. You can see it's got a lot more detail than the original one that I asked. So it says, you are a YouTube content strategist tasked with coming up with compelling video ideas related to artificial intelligence. AI content has been exploding in popularity on YouTube lately, with many creators seeing massive view counts and subscriber growth, from videos on this topic. Your job is to generate 10 specific engaging video ideas related to the following AI topic. It then gives me a spot to plug a topic in here. And then it says, the goal is to come up with titles and concepts that will grab people's attention and make them wanna click and watch. The ideas should be unique and stand out from the sea of other AI videos out there. Don't be afraid to get creative. For each idea, provide a numbered list with the video title and one to two sentence description of what the video would cover. Make the titles as compelling and clickable as possible. A few important things to keep in mind, keep everything family friendly and avoid anything too controversial or that could be seen as offensive. Focus on topics that would be interesting and accessible to a general audience, not just AI experts, Prioritize ideas that are original and haven't been done to death by other creators already. Generate the 10 AI video ideas with descriptions inside ideas tags. Let's see what you come up with. Now, if I want, I can just take this entire prompt here. I'm gonna go control C and copy it. And then if I just jump straight into the normal Claude, I can paste this in here. And then I'll replace the topic here with large 
language models and then click submit and it will start to write an output based on the criteria that it just gave me. The AI that writes like Shakespeare inside the mind of an AI. What's really going on when it generates text? The chatbot that fooled its own creators. The untold story of Lambda. These are actually videos I might wanna make. AI or human, take the Turing test challenge. The dark side of AI writing, misinformation, plagiarism, and other dangers are important to look at. That's another video I'd like to make. AI therapy, AI novel writing experiment, famous figures brought back to life, incredible things you didn't know AI language models can do, how I built a viral Twitter bot with a large language model. These are good ideas. These are videos I'd actually want to make. Now, if we jump back over to our Google Collab here, there's one more step that I haven't pressed play on yet. And if I press play on it here, it will actually run Claude inside of this Google Collab instead of having to jump over to Claude to run it. So if I press play on this one, you can see it asked me for my variable because I didn't put a topic in there. And let's put the fusion models. I'll hit enter. It's going to basically do what Claude just did and give me an output using diffusion models as the selected topic. And I got a very similar response to what I got by typing it into Claude specifically, but this time focused on diffusion models, mind blowing AI art generated by diffusion models, the AI that paints like Picasso, using AI diffusion models to visualize your dreams, 10 things you didn't know AI diffusion models could create, etc. So if you're wondering how I get video ideas for this YouTube channel. Well, before I was using ChatGPT, but lately I've been using Claude. And this little trick, again from Maurice here, gotta give him full credit for finding this and pointing it out, makes it even easier because now all I have to do is come down to this, you know, second to last little box here in Google Collab, press play again. It'll ask me for a new topic. This time I can do making music with AI. I'll hit enter. It will continue to run the prompt here. And just like that, we got a list of 10 engaging video ideas related to making music with AI. I used AI to create a top 40 hit song and it only took one hour. I'd click on that. I trained on an AI of my favorite artist's music. Here's what it wrote. I'd click on that as well. An AI and I went head to head in a songwriting contest. I had an AI write songs based on my life story. I'm literally taking notes of these because some of these videos I might make in the future. And if you're curious about cost, I've spent about 24 cents already of my $5 credit, but I also did run a few other prompts and things that I edited out of this video. So in reality, if you were to use this, you probably wouldn't have spent even as much of the free credits as I just spent here. But really, really cool way to get killer prompts written for you in a way that Claude sort of recommends the prompts to be written in. And you saw some of the titles that it generated. It works really, really well. So want to just share that really quick tip with you. I came across it on Twitter from Moritz. Thought it was amazing. Really, really liked what it generated. So hopefully you found this valuable and that's all I got for you. Check out futuretools.io for really cool AI tools and all the latest AI news. Join the free newsletter to get the best news and tools sent directly to your inbox. And when you sign up for the free newsletter, I'll also hook you up with the AI income database, a database of cool ways to make money with AI. You can find it all over at futuretools.io. And if you haven't already, make sure you like this video and subscribe to this channel. And I'll keep hooking you up with more cool videos around AI news, AI tutorials, AI research, and uh, just kind of everything going on in the world of AI. So thank you so much for tuning in again. Really, really appreciate you. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.